Daniel Fernandez and I'm a mechanical engineer here at Arab. I was surprised at how quickly I got involved in project work when I started here at Arab. On my first day, I was given the task of tagging uh, every single valve on a data centre in Melbourne, so admittedly it was a bit of a time consuming and dull task, but I was really happy to be involved right from the get go and made me feel part of the team. Right now, a cool project we're working on is the Key Quarter Sydney development, and we're looking at some innovative strategies like pedestrian power generation that we can put forward to um, make sure sustainability is considered holistically right from the start. To finish off the grad program, we had a chance to look at our values, and for me, those were to exercise competence to um, be part of a team, a chance for fun and humour, I guess, in a workplace, to practice honesty and integrity, to make sure the environment is considered in what we do, and also, lastly, to have good work-life balance. So there are all of those things I can find here in my job, which makes me feel at home. Daniel's a very positive guy, gets stuck in and combines engineering and sustainability really well. He's a very calming influence around here. He's got some good karma. My name is Melvin Leong. Um, my role is an electrical engineer as part of the building services team. We had our graduate program uh, graduate weekend. We had all the engineers, graduate engineers from around Australia, even Singapore, coming into Sydney, having a weekend together, which was really good. You get to meet everyone from around uh, the region. So one of the great projects that I've worked on um, was um, in the beginning of the year I worked on a project called 100 Mount Street and I really enjoyed that project because it's one of the first few that I actually got to be involved in almost from the beginning so I went through the whole process. I enjoyed working with um, people like Dave Martin, the leader of the electrical team. Sometimes you can actually see at his desk like a line forming of people waiting to speak to him and ask questions. Um, so obviously he's pretty busy but Every time I speak to him, he's still um, very friendly and cracking jokes. So even though he's busy, he's still a smile on his face. And that's the same with, I, I think, everyone, everyone here. My name is Sarah and I work in the fire team. In a nutshell, we're trying to get people out of buildings safely. That's what we do. Safe in the world. <laughs> when I started, it was so nerve-wracking, but it was... It was great fun. Immediately it was great fun. My team are so nice and knowledgeable. At the moment working on Australian Museum, which is, yeah, it's brilliant. The site visit was absolutely brilliant because you kind of take a picture of an exit, a sprinkler, a dinosaur. And I only realised this the other day when I was talking to one of my uni friends, because we studied fire um, engineering at uni. We were discussing what each of us does and it was only then that I kind of figured Actually, we've learned so much since we've been here. I didn't really think it was very useful, but now I realise that we've actually learned a lot, which is it's good. Uh, working at Arab is brilliant. Oh, and that's a genuine, genuine comment. I absolutely love it. I wake up every day and I've never once kind of thought about mm, whether or not go to work today. It's just, it's great. <laughs>